opened the marriage and now my husband abandoned me. Originally opening up our marriage was my idea. No, your husband didn't abandon you. You thought you can have your, ate, your cake and eat it too. You were entitled enough to ask him about opening the marriage. All because of your own selfish gains and wants and needs. And it's very interesting how unaccountable she is throughout this whole thing. The man never came to her about opening the marriage and the man never said anything about that. But now you feel abandoned once he moved out moved out of your place doesn't well didn't necessarily move out but created his own space away from you and now you're trying to give him an ultimatum of divorce because he doesn't want because he played by your rules and now you don't like the rules you create you set up and you want to flip the whole game over and then you're even more stunned when he said listen we can get this divorce i'm not upset about it and somehow this is all his fault he he abandoned you you abandoned him the moment you asked for an open marriage you abandoned him once you didn't think enough enough of him to uh, to value his opinions or feelings. You didn't think enough of him or your daughter when you thought all of this was okay. And you did this, again, because you're inconsiderate and you're selfish. And you thought you, you could do better. But now that you realize that your husband knows how to be happy by himself, enjoy himself, and find other people that like and want to get along with him and explore the same things he wants to explore, there's a problem and there's an issue. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes. And let me say this to pretty much to all women. Don't ever, let me just say this, this is not even just to women, this is to people. Don't ever think you you got the one up on a person. Don't ever think you got power in a position. Don't ever think you got control. Especially when you're dealing with somebody who's so calm and stoic about something. Because when they're calm and stoic about something, that means they've contemplated 10 different ways to get you up out of there. They just haven't. Or they're just biding their time. And I've seen a lot of these stories of men now responding to women in this way, in their fashion, and men, and women aren't liking it. And I'm confused as to why you don't like the, the situations you set up. This is the point of when men are talking about women being un unaccountable. You put yourself, you put your husband in a position, and then he responds to the position that you put him in, and now there's a problem. And that's that's what happens a lot. They You know, they say, hell, have no fear in like a woman scorn. But a lot of you are scorning yourselves, and you have no idea what it looks like when a man feels scorn, or what a man will do when you put him into a, a back him into a corner. It's like backing a, a a dog or a tiger or an ant or any kind of animal into a corner. They're gonna lash out and they're gonna attack. But with a man, it's gonna be more calculated, more precise. A lot of you like to play these short-term games, thinking you're hurting the man short-term, and then long-term, when you look back at it, you realize you lost everything just trying to play this game with this man. Men are very good at compartmentalizing things, and you need to understand, once you get move into a different category with a man, you're like, you're no longer a wife, you're just somebody I live with, you can never get that other man back. So be careful before you get yourself into these situations, because you'll wind up like this. And the fact that you even opened the marriage and you came to him like that, a judge is not going to do anything about it. He's going to be like, well, you came to it and he came to the agreement. You were going on dates. You did this. You did that. He hasn't done any of these any of these things. And your daughter sounds like she's old enough to uh, pick who she wants to live with. So nine times ten, she's going to want to live with her dad. You put yourself into this position. A lot of you put yourselves into these positions with men. You think none of your actions are being accounted for or looked at or viewed and think men are just kind of whatever in it. Or I don't know if you think this is just for some of you think we're dumb or what is, or or what takes place in your minds. But you gotta understand, most of especially married men, we're paying attention to what you're doing. And we're just going to move accordingly. And accordingly, when we move, it's always going to be bad for you long term.